Consumers are concerned with security of their payments. Above and beyond the convenience and the uh, ubiquity of acceptance of uh, financial payment cards, they are concerned with security. And EMV and chip and pin is um, the, the most proven and mature technology to prevent payment card fraud from happening. It is preventing fraud in point of sale situations, whether it's attended or unattended in ATMs, and it can also help to uh, protect consumers from fraud in uh, non-face-to-face -face situations like electronic commerce or um, telephone order situations. Well, EMV has been widely distri distributed and deployed across the globe, particularly in Europe. Uh, it, it's basically a 100% um, deployment penetration of EMV chip and pin um, all the way in Western Europe. And consequently, the fraud in that payment system in Europe has been reduced dramatically. Um, what we have seen in, in other places, though, is that once the fraud in one region and in one channel has been reduced, fraud will migrate. The criminals will not rest. They will go the path of least resistance, and the magnetic stripe technology right now is the path of least resistance, and we will, we will very, very um, probably see that the criminals will focus on those markets that uh, rest on magnetic stripe technology. We've seen that fraud migrating from Malaysia who went to chip to, to neighboring Thailand. Um, you will see the same thing with Canada now moving to chip, Mexico moving to chip. The, the fraudsters will not rest, so chances are that um, the fraud will migrate into the US systems and, and that the fraud uh, numbers will continue to rise in the US. Um, on the other hand, the, um, the, the cost for introducing um, chip and pin has uh, been on the decrease for, for a couple of years now and the hurdles that, that were hurdles five years ago are no longer relevant today. Well, I think there are a couple of myths that, uh, that have been nurtured over the years in the U.S. There is no business case. It's, uh, we don't have a problem because we go online with every transaction um, that are still prevalent with the merchants and, and with the banks. That's one thing. The other thing is uh, there is no industry association, no, no cross-industry forum in this country that would be able to, uh, uh, to, to, to convene all participants in the ecosystem to educate themselves about what the problem with security is in the U.S. card payment system and how EMV could help um, being a cure for that. Um, in, in many of the markets that uh, have migrated to EMV, you had such a forum, whether it's Carte Boncaire in France or whether it's uh, eight packs in the U.K., um, because e implementing EMV, while it is not rocket science, it is a complex undertaking and, it, and all the stakeholders need to be uh, coordinated over time. We've just uh, seen this uh, in, happening in Canada where such a forum was very helpful to iron out the, the various issues that need to be resolved before you have a, a market-wide introduction of such a technology.